this video I'm going to show you how to check your CCP dates on all your Leica equipment. It is important that you know the CCP dates prior to updating the firmware because having an expired CCP date will not allow you to update to the most current version. If your CCP is recently expired you may be able to update to a previous version. It is also recommended that you verify all your equipment because you cannot have incompatible software so your CS20 cannot be on 4.1 and your TS16 on 3.5. They are incompatible versions so in order to update all your equipment you have to make sure the CCP date is valid or at least they all expired around the same time. All right, so here we're gonna do is we're going to go to on your controller, you're gonna to connect to your GS receiver, and you're gonna to come to settings, and you're gonna to come to about, and like a captivate. Here is your current version, right? And here is your CCP end date. If this is current, you can upgrade to the most recent version. Come over to GS sensor, scroll down, CCP end date, here's your current GS sensor um, CCP um, end date. Also in your controller, if you come over to settings and you have a little box that says CCP in it, you'll know that your CCP is expired. If you don't, then your CCP is current. With the total station, it's very similar. Come over to settings, about, like a captivate, and your CCP end date. So let's say that you are CCP is uh, current and you want to update your uh, software. So we come to the server and CAD support, Leica, Captivate firmware versions. And you come over to the Leica Captivate release notes for that version. And you want to just verify that the maintenance date is older than the CCP date. If your CCP date in this example expired on October 1st, 2018, you will not be able to update to version 4.1. So to verify, you would come into the firmware and check the release notes in the other versions to see if you can update to at least 3.7 or update to 3.5. Once you know your CCP dates, you're good to copy the versions to your SD card and update your software.